report is raising questions about Governor Reynolds' Test Iowa initiative. It's based on a program in Utah. A doctor in Utah is now calling the program a, quote, potential public health disaster. KCCI's Chris Gothner is live at the Statehouse with the governor's response. Well, Governor Reynolds was asked about this new report a few times today because the same company running the Utah program is also running Test Iowa. Well, that report raises some concerns that the test results may not be accurate. Earlier this month, Governor Reynolds launched the $26 million Test Iowa initiative run by Utah-based Nomi Health based on its Test Utah program. But emails obtained Thursday by the Salt Lake Tribune reveal worries from Utah health experts about that program. One doctor called Test Utah a potential public health disaster. The numbers uh, were not consistent with the numbers in the rest of the state. And also that um, they had some concerns about potentially the, the lab, the test sites, and the the test itself. Reporter Aaron Alberti and her colleagues reviewed state data amid concerns that the test may be producing false negatives. When you only look at patients who had symptoms when they went to get tested, even that population at testutah.com has a rate of positive results that is less than half of what the rest of the state is producing. The emails also revealed concerns that the test required higher virus levels than others to trigger a COVID-19 positive. Governor Reynolds says she found out about the Utah report minutes before Thursday news conference. We are in the process right now of validating the process. She says she's confident in the test Iowa results processed at the state hygienic lab. They're taking every measure and taking every step that they can to make sure that that they are doing the validation process accurately and that they can feel confident in the results that they're reporting out to Iowans. Now, Naomi Hell told the Tribune that it's possible that differences between who it's testing versus the rest of Utah may account for some of those discrepancies. Now, the test maker also defended its product. If you want to read all that in further detail, we have the full story linked on our KCCI 8 mobile app. But for now, live at the Statehouse, Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.